implosion therapy mainly comprises of home humor relaxation or all of the above now implosion therapy is mainly uh, implemented in those situations where the child is displaying negative behavior okay so the child is uh, uh, not cooperating he's throwing a fuss or he's not listening to any of the commands of the dentist or he there is no other behavior modification method which is working on such a child okay so in this situation what the dentist will do is he will flood the child with so much stimulus that the child has no choice but to face the stimulus till the negative response disappears for example if the child is crying okay or being hysterical and not accepting the treatment one method of or one method which comprises of impl implosion therapy is the hand over mouth exercise voice control or either physical restraints okay so one of the uh, method is hand over mouth exercise okay now this hand over mouth exercise is not a punishment okay this is a method of aversive conditioning okay something known as aversive conditioning so this is implemented like i said in those children who are showing aversive type of behavior that is they are not listening they are not cooperating they are being hysterical okay so in order to make the child cooperate a safe and effective method to manage this behavior is the hand over mouth exercise but this requires parental consent okay so the hand over mouth exercise was first given by evangeline by evangeline jordan in the year 1992 okay so like i said this is not a punishment to the child for behaving badly this is only a method to gain the attention of the child so that you can establish communication with the child okay now uh, how do you do this technique or how should you perform this technique so first and foremost is you need to get the consent of the uh, parent or the guardian of the child okay second the once you determine that you are going to carry out this technique you need to firmly place your hand over the child's mouth okay so here you can see in this image here the dentist has placed her hand over the mouth of the child okay and you explain to the child close to his ears what you are expecting him or how you are expecting him to behave okay so if the child is crying forcefully etc you uh, calmly and firmly place your hand over his mouth okay and in his ears you explain to him that you will move your hand once he starts to cooperate with the treatment once he begins to cooperate you can remove your hand okay and then you compliment the child or you praise the child for uh, becoming quiet or for uh, his cooperation okay so this is how you will Commu uh, establish a communication with the child so when he is being hysterical he is actually not listening to any of the commands of the dentist so there is no communication that is established so the goal of this technique is only to establish communication with the child so that he will listen to you you explain what needs to be done once he starts behaving in the particular way that you want then you praise him this will earn the trust of the uh, of the child to the dentist okay now while carrying out this technique it is very important to note that you are not restricting the child's airway in any way okay although there are several variations of home okay so the variations of home okay so there are various uh, ways that e either you can place your hand over the mouth okay uh, or you can place the hand over the nose mouth so that the airway is restricted okay this is only done in very severe cases where the child is being hysterical and not listening at all okay otherwise usually the airway should not be restricted for more than 20 to 30 seconds okay this is important so you should not block the airway of the child for more than 30 seconds another variation is by holding a towel over the uh, mouth of the child okay either a dry towel can be held or a wet towel can be held over the a mouth and nose of the child another variation is the homar technique in the homar technique the airway is actually restricted so it is hand over mouth airway restricted and the reason for doing this is that the child will quieten down or he will start to behave so as to breathe okay so because of this he will stop screaming and then the doctor can proceed in the same manner as the home technique where you explain to the patient and then when the patient starts cooperating you remove your hand from over the airway so that the child can breathe and the child will quieten down 
okay however this is not something that needs to be done routinely now the indications indications and the contraindications of using this technique is very very important okay this has been asked as a question in the previous examination that in which uh, situation or in which uh, clinical situation will you indicate hand over mouth and in which situations will you contraindicate hand over mouth technique okay so the home technique is only indicated in children who are healthy okay who are healthy who do not have any uh, handicap okay so a healthy child who is displaying defiant and hysterical behavior who's defiant and hysterical so the child is screaming and crying and not listening to the dentist at all such a child who is healthy and between 3 to 6 years old okay between 3 to 6 years old and he is able to understand so by 3 to 6 years old is so that the child has some basic understanding and verbal communication okay so the child should be able to understand the commands of the dentist and also have some verbal communication to communicate with the dentist okay that's why it is contraindicated in children less than 3 years of age okay because communication will not be uh, will the dentist will not be able to establish communication with a child who is less than 3 years or the child will not understand what is being done to him because he will not have the emotional maturity if he is less than 3 years right so this is going to frighten the child more so in this situation where the child is less than 3 years you will absolutely not do this technique of implosion therapy or aversive conditioning okay and this is only done the last indication is a child who is displaying uncontrollable behavior so there is no way of controlling this child's behavior uncontrollable behavior so these are the indications of doing home technique right the other contraindications are in a child who has any sort of handicap this can be physical or emotional handicap or mental handicap right so and an extremely frightened child okay so in these situations you will not do home technique so these indications and contraindications again they are important the variations of home technique are important and also it is important to know who has given this technique okay that is evangeline jordan in the year 1992